All right, happy moon day to everybody. Starting the blog off right and exact. So I got my little, my nice tank top on. Y'all see it? Driver just pulled up. Let's roll out. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, drive on time. I'm on time. Let's roll. So what's up, everybody? Yeah. Got my big one out today. Look. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm I used to look good. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too good either. Okay. okay. You, you shaved the head? Yeah. It's I me. see. You, I see you. I see you. Yeah. I see you. You said this one didn't work, right? So I got my big one, got my big gorilla one out. Uh, tripod. So happy new week, happy new day. Happy Monday to everybody. And we deserve a round of applause. With everybody's help. We have finally crossed the threshold of 1,000 subscribers. So well, that's what's up, that's what's up. Took long enough, I had established this channel way back in, <laughs> way back in 2016. I ain't really been taking it serious, so only in the last year or so, well actually last six months I've been taking it serious, so. Congratulations to me and all of the folks who came over. Who's rocking with your boy. You know what I mean? So I definitely appreciate that. But let me take it down because I don't want too many people to be able to see what I'm doing. But at least this is a bigger, stronger um, tripod. It's called Gorilla Pod, I believe. And it's perfect for what I'm doing. It's, it's heavy, but my arm gonna get a workout that's it but anyway I want to address some of the things probably have to keep going over this every video but we're gonna make sure everybody knows what the, what the dealio is the dealio is citizenship some people talking about oh, it don't really matter you know it's about finances yeah it's about both you did it's about citizenship and it's about finances um, me personally, I'm definitely on the both uh, platform. I want to be a citizen and I want to be able to do business in the country and have full privileges and rights of any other uh, citizen. So, right now, to my knowledge, Sierra Leone is the only country that is given citizenship if you can prove uh, through DNA testing that you have genetic match with at least one of the 15 tribes that's here. Yep, one of the 15 tribes that's here. So the only test that they recognize and at this point is African ancestry, right? So I would suggest folks go ahead and shell out the bucks. It's like $600 for the maternal and paternal sides of your family and then you need a passport so all who don't have passports uh, shame on you get on top of your passports immediately okay uh, then you need a, a uh, birth certificate we need to do a background check I'm still working on how we're gonna do the background checks that they're gonna honor so We'll find that out today. And um, once you got those things, background check, DNA, passport, uh, photo, two passport photos, 
and your birth certificate. And we can go ahead and schedule a trip. It's gonna be anywhere between um, 44 and probably, probably 30, no, let me see, 44, yeah, between 44 and uh, 48. And what's included with that will be all your meals, hotels, transportation, shuttle, sea coach, um, your one-way visa. No, no, let me take that back. One-way visa, you got to pay that separate. And you got to pay all your COVID tests separate. You got to take two COVID tests. I think they're around 80 bucks a piece. Yep. Uh, let me see what else. Other costs. Um, blah, 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 blah. That's all I can remember right at the moment. I don't write nothing down. Nothing scripted at this point. I just want to touch base with these things at the start of every video so people actually, you know, get the protocol down pat, what you need to do. But yeah. And you can become a citizen of this country with full benefits, full privileges, and full rights. You can vote. Come here and live. You can buy land. You don't have to lease it. You can get a business. You don't have to have a a uh, Sierra Leonean person as a partner. None of that. Oh no, I'm distracted by the traffic. But uh, yeah, it's a good thing. I know some people, you know, they ain't on board with it. Okay, cool. If you ain't on board. You ain't on board. But I am. Literally here, we could bring our talents and uh, experiences and our money here and literally become as wealthy as we want, we want to. Yep. And I would like to build a community. Expat community from brothers and sisters, Americanized Africans from all over the diaspora get us about 30 acres and build our homes in a gated community with um, outposts on both ends and we'll take care of all our own infrastructure, our water, our electric, all of these things. That's what I like to see. Yep. And then out of that 30, we get together and and um, form an investment club. Yeah. So we can buy a lot of the space and have our own grocery stores and whatever else we want. That'll be for the group for the group to, to decide. My thing is just try to organize it and get it all up and running and then group and decide what we want to do from there. Yep, that's what I'm on. Because I love it here. Love it, love it, love it. I feel so at peace. Even if things are not perfect, they're not perfect in no country. So, well, let me show you the people. So today we're going to the Taylor, and then we also going to uh, the office, check on the paperwork. And 
then from there, we're just gonna hang out. Yep, just gonna hang out. Might try to conduct a few interviews. My man from Chicago. And um, I gotta conduct an interview with my man Aaliyah. hear somebody else tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you. Yeah, but shout out to everybody for helping me get to a thousand, finally. Finally, finally, finally. I was reading in the comments. Oh man, the beaches in and. and, and, and what is that? The beach is in Miami. I bet it in the beaches here. Okay. So nobody nobody really asked about the beaches in Miami. I, I don't care about the beaches in Miami. I care about the beaches here in Africa. If I got enough money to come here. I got enough. I got enough money to go anywhere. You see what I mean? I got enough money to go to the beaches there. The thing is, I don't want to go to the beaches there. <laughs> I want to go to the beaches here. go to Miami anytime I feel like it. I don't think people understand. Some of us trying to get out of America. So you can't sell me on America. How beautiful the beaches is and how, how much this is built up and how much is that and this and that. I don't care. I don't care. I want to come here. I want to chart my own destiny. just need to be quiet. To be honest with you, you just need to be quiet. But sometimes it don't make sense of the stuff they're talking about in, in relation to the subject matter. The subject matter is we own back to Africa movement. That's what we own. So you can't sell us on America. We've been there all our lives. <laughs> we already know about America. You can't sell me on that. What is wrong with you? I'm an over-the-road truck driver. I'd have been in pretty much every state. You can't sell me on that. I like the Wild West of the African uh, continent. I like the whole idea of it. <laughs> We're trying to get out of Africa. We're on the back to Africa movement, Pan-African movement. And somebody come in the comment section and try to sell us on why it's good, why America is good. Oh my God. You don't go somewhere else with that rhetoric. That's why I say we got agents paid and unpaid. You can't sell me on America. <laughs> I'm already there. I've been there, I make my money there, I've been working there, all that. I've been to pretty much every state.
more people writing this stuff in the comments. It, I know it makes sense in their minds. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's kind of comical to me. Dude, the group, the group that I'm putting together is a back to Africa group. We want to come here and build our, our uh, compounds, build our communities, interact with our own people. Restore our stolen birthrights. I'm sure the ancestors are looking down on me smiling. It's a lofty endeavor, but I think it's most most definitely worth it. Hold on guys, we're going past the police so. I think we passed them. in Miami are better. I'm like, wow. As if somebody has some type of stake in the beaches there. We don't hardly own, what he said, 1% one, 1 of the wealth in America is all we own as Americanized Africans. But you trying to sell me on stuff that other people own. That stuff down in Miami, we don't own nothing over there. This is a, this is the lunacy <laughs> that I be in. is a back to Africa movement. And this country recognized dual citizenship. So you could be a citizen of America as you wish and you could be a citizen of Sierra Leone. And that's what, that's what I'm selling. Yeah, that's what I'm selling. But you can come back and forth. You can have businesses in America and you can have businesses here. You can have homes in America and you can have homes here. That's what I'm selling. If you so choose. Miami beaches are better. <laughs> so what? And the beaches in South America are better. So what? For folks who want to go to those places, hey, Book a ticket and go. I'm not knocking those places. I'm not saying they don't have beautiful beaches. I'm not saying none of that. I just don't want to go. And I'm trying to get people together like me. Who 
want to come back and take on the challenge of rebuilding Africa. I don't want to be no armchair scholars. <laughs> All I do is talk, running people comment sections talking. I ain't building nothing. And then big up and, and promoting other people's stuff. Man, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I can't do it. Hold on, guys. Two officers right in the middle. Two over on the side. There we go, we got past. People always big up in other folks. That's why I say, I don't know if these people are paid to say these things. Or they just such in their Negro peeing mindset that they don't even realize what they're saying. Dude, you on a Back to Africa channel trying to big up places that we don't want to go. Go to those places. Go to those uh, uh, channels. Channel trying to talk us out of not coming back to Africa. I don't get it. You got to be the weirdest person on earth. I get homesick every time I got to go back to America. That's why I want to do the tour group, because now it gives me more reason to come over here more often and to develop more relationships. But they can't use that old narrative, tired narrative. Oh, the Africans don't like us. Now we're destroying that narrative. walking around with guns. Uh, I'm destroying that narrative. There's lions everywhere. Well, we ain't seen no lions yet. Destroying that narrative. Everybody killing everybody. They killing each other in the street. Uh, ain't seen no dead bodies yet. 
he had a couple clashes with the bikers, but uh, we see that in Philly and Chicago all the time. California. Police always got a problem with bikers. This ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new. Eventually the police will get a handle on it. You guys need to just obey the rules. Rice up there. Yo, lady with stuff on her head. They go a guy with stuff on his head. What a moss. Somebody else asked about factories and this type of stuff. Uh, any factories, we need to bring them here. I don't know about all the factories and stuff. But you could, you could, you could definitely bring factories here. businesses here, bring factories here, star companies here, star corporations here. We can compete against anybody. But if you think you're coming here to get a job, uh, no, not unless you're in medical. 
and even they don't pay that much. So you want to come here and create your own job, basically. Yep, come here and create your own job, start your own factories, your own mining, factoring, mining, whatever you're gonna do. Come here with the ideas and start it here. There's enough room for competition. Plenty of, actually plenty of room for competition. I don't know about all the factories and all that stuff. I'm not coming here looking to work for nobody. Roll up my sleeves and get it done myself. Right, I'm gonna cut it here until we get into the, in the tailor. I only made it to the tailor, guys, with all that traffic. I might want to go to Taylor School when I get here. Might want to go to Taylor School when I come. I like. What happened? Why? Good, good. <laughs> I'm, 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 spark, I'm sparking a tree, huh? <laughs> Barry, Barry cut his off, you cut yours off, I cut mine off. Yeah. They have a tailor school here? They have tailor school? Tailor school? Yeah, he's a tailor school. And you? Yeah. Oh, that's right, he did tell me that. That you were teaching people. I'm teaching both of them. Who was both of them? All of them? Including that one. Yeah. Including this guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. So y'all gonna be y'all gonna be tailors too, huh? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, because I've always wanted to be a tailor. Yeah. Maybe when I'm here full time, I can come learn. So how long would they have to study? Yeah. How long would they have to study? How many months, years? What? Four years. Four years? Four years. Aye. Y'all hear that? Four years I would have to study. So after four years, that what you graduate and and what y'all get your own shop? They probably get their own shop. They probably get their own shop once they graduate. That's what's up. I have to go four years. Taylor, mm -hmm. I have to go four years, he said. Mm -hmm. Four years, it's a tailor. To, uh, uh, for, for instructions. For instructions. 
Uh, that might work as big. Yeah. Might have to squeeze it in. You sure? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight prop. Huh? Straight prop, is it? How do you call it? Uh, draw, oh, uh, yeah, draw string. Drop string. Draw string. Draw string. Okay. The lady. Back, guys. Okay, guys, just leaving the tailor. And I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it's look kind of big, but then again, I told him that I wanted drawstring, so once I pull him in, we should be fine. So I let the shirts look well. You we should be able to be styling and profiling. You did. So I'm appreciating him. We'll definitely go back and get some more done. But that one suit looks really good. Made to be kind of loosey goosey. That's how I wanted it. So we'll try them on. Hopefully, everything fits well. Yep, hopefully, everything fits well. We, it looks good. So we got that out the way. We're on our way to the office now. So back to showing y'all the architecture and the people. I know something else somebody else said in the, in the, in the comments. Uh, the, the Africans wear American clothes, or European clothes. So what? <laughs> That's what I say to that. So what? I like dressing in traditional African wear. So I can do what I want to do. Africans can do what they want to do. You see some of them dress? Like try to make it seem like nobody dressed. They, they dress however they want to dress. I just choose to do it. So them bikes. Yeah. 
Yes, I get you when we tap fish. Fasting, fasting. women carrying stuff on their heads. It's so, so unfair. <laughs> Guys carry stuff on their head too. Is that unfair? We carry it in bags on our arms and they carry it on their head. Get out here. Yeah. All right, you go spin around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Thank you. I haven't even been getting bit by mosquitoes. I'm going on up there. Then tomorrow's a holiday, right? Yeah. Tomorrow's a holiday. Sister, we would like to meet you. I say, sister, show sure would like to meet you. What's your name? All right, guys, I'll cut it here. Yes, and then we keep it. Every Halloween. 
Well, we talked about the situation earlier with the guy not wanting his picture in front of the school. Some cat they asked him. Uh, so we use names or leave people out for yeah, protecting the names, you? Yeah, but we know what we're talking about. All right. But see, I, what I feel, I'll the talk. issue was, and then I talked to him about it. Okay. And, and, that, and that would have been my issue. Was, uh, you not posting that on a public media. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You're not posting that thing in the paper. Yeah. You're not posting that thing in the paper. Yeah. You're not posting it in a public media. Yeah. 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 You're posting it on your business website. Which is going to be going to gain advertising. Now you do it on YouTube, Facebook, like that clip, so. You know what makes it different? It makes it different if I came on a trip for sleep. But that 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 was right If I didn't pay a if I didn't pay a sale. Yeah. What if they what if they rip play white man seven? What is it? White devil advocate or white man. Oh, okay, oh that's good. White devil's advocate. Alright, so say Hypothetically, you see that number And then after the you know, video, you know, 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 what did you think that meant? That's what I'm saying. For, for, if you have a problem with being on camera or you have a problem with your stuff being out there, I just don't understand why it didn't come up until Peter made an announcement for that. Or with the guy who, you know, with the guy who was from the group before. You got cameras in your face all day? So why would you say at that point, hey, I don't, you know, I ain't really cool with having my stuff out there like that? That's just well, let's see, let's see, everybody, see, everybody, let's see, let's see, and I know I will get a good lawyer to argue this. And this is the argument. I'm a good lawyer, right here. I got it. And this is the good. And this is the argument. When you in public and you put things in the public domain, right? But when you put things in an enterprise in a personal domain, it, it becomes a difference. That's why people when they when you just can't play anybody music on YouTube, you can dance with all this. On YouTube, people make money off of that. On social media, they play on their Instagram. No, but you know, you know what they have to pay? The artist makes money off of it. Yeah, the artist too. No, 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 no. It's not personal for me. No, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I beg to differ. Okay. Yeah, but, and, and that's all. No difference. The way it works with social media, people do that. That's more. That's bring them. When you have a company, you have a freelance photographer, you have whatever. You put your stuff on Instagram. You put your stuff on YouTube. That is advertising. That is bringing more viewers. So how is that different than putting it on your company website? Well, I mean, a lot of folks are not making money on those mediums. I guess if you're huh? making money, like on Instagram, I'm not making no money off this. So if I post something, it's just, I, that's what I'm saying, I'm not. You personally, but yeah. a lot of people are. A lot so of people are if, 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 if I post a photo, it's just because so I feel like so posting a photo. Right, but I ain't what making they a dime off of it. to make that money, you're not getting enough. Yeah. That's the whole... But you kind of see it, my argument. Yeah, I see both of y'all. Yeah. Both, both of y'all. The, the analogy I'm both of y'all got a point. Yeah. And this this might be a bad analogy. But the analogy and those I'm are the kind of things thing you take the court. Problems, so and the judge make the decision. Yeah. See, we can stay in the big with each other all day long. But when you want a decision, you file a complaint, you take it to the judge. The judge may rule in your favor, or rule not in your favor, but a decision has been made. Exactly. Now, now, and it's still in talks, and it's not completed, so couldn't that be so similar? I think that's different because you're talking about a multi-million dollar enterprise that would be nothing without those people. But this is not a company that would be nothing without our pictures. That's a very different situation. But that's but but that's why you you discussing when I said say laws that don't exist. Revenue was smaller, and then when they posted your picture, their revenue increased. 
like that. So we already know he ain't on that because he, he petty. He's he, only petty he already. Wasn't on that in the first place. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Well, right. Well, well, that, that's the first. That's the first. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. All. So, okay. Okay. So, so I just named more. But if he does decide later on, well, I, I like to know the end of that. I, I like to see shit done. I, I want somebody to say, yeah, man, you can't. I, I like a judge. Yeah. Some I like a judge. Yeah. Once the judge makes a decision. See, I'm trying to figure everything out. That's why you hire a lawyer. You ain't got to go through all that. Yeah, you want broke the Because I just heard about it. Yeah, I just heard about it. And then, and then when, when I understood it, I said, oh, that's some kind of legal to me. Now, I don't know. I was on tour, so I know. That's why I said, I stay away from that type of stuff. Yeah, me too. So I was just joking with them. But, 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 you know, I believe in the law. I don't cool. cool. go my way. I cool don't go my way. I'm cool with everybody. Yeah, me too. Right. Yeah. That's that's the issue. Yeah, that's the yeah. issue. I'm trying to get along. Yeah, but I'm a I'm a man with this. Shit, I don't know about. I leave it alone. I don't discuss too much. Now, if I want to sign up, guess what I do? I say what you know about that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna sit there and argue about it. Oh. About making connections. That's what it's about. That's what I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever this dude's doing, I ain't doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to make the most connections possible. It's Uck Wabi. It's Uck Wabi. It's Uck Wabi. Right. It's Uck Wabi. Oh my God. Yeah, it's Uck Wabi. I said, so how did y'all do it? She said, well, we went to somewhere in the boat. And she said, all the boats were at like a village. She said, well, it was good. All right, guys. Everybody's gonna go holler to Taylor, so we can go in and cut it right here. All right, love y'all. Y'all got a, a glimpse of what y'all could be doing when you come over here. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I didn't even know you had a car. That's the catch that round footage. Yeah, that's right. Give me that Chicago salute. There you go, like power. Last one. That's right. Remember, last one. Holla.